On the 19th of June 2020, as I was coming back from the university at around 7 p.m., I wanted to buy kebab for my wife. When I approached the shop around the Sukuba Center, I saw a wallet, a huge purse, and I picked it up. When I opened it, it contained a huge sum of money, credit card and other valuables. What I did immediately was to start thinking about the owner of the money. I was sure the, person, the owner was looking for the money. I was sure the owner was heartbroken. Then I took the money to the police station. On getting to the police station, the police officer asked me why I did not take the money. I told him I was raised by a decent family and that my faith as a Christian forbade me from taking anything. Then I handed over everything to him. He took my information and everything about me and then told me about my rights as someone who had found something that was missing. He told me that I was entitled to 10% of the money and that if the person, the owner of the money does not, didn't come to pick the money after three months, that the whole money would be mine. Both offers were rejected by me. I rejected those offers because I'm a Christian. I rejected th those offers because I was raised by a very decent family. I rejected th those offers because I'm a, I'm a Nigerian. In Nigeria, we are a people that are selfless, known for dedication, known for honesty, known for good virtues. So when I rejected good offers, they took everything about me and I went home. Three days later, the owner of the money called me and appreciated me. He had been calling me, he even called me two days ago, and probably I'm sure I will have the time to spend with him in the future. Now, the police, after some days, sent me a letter appreciating me for my kind-hearted gesture. Here is a message for every Nigerian. We are a people that should maintain, protect the image and the integrity of our nation. Wherever we are, especially those in diaspora, we are the Nigeria that people know. When we do something bad abroad, it reflects on the image of the nation. And here is a message for non-Nigerians who 